<laughs> this is not happening. This is not happening. I'm going to cut you out. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, and welcome to Saturday. Yay. Yeah, um, I know the Saturday is the favorite day of some people. Yeah, because it's a day where you get time off work, right? Especially if you are a non health worker. <laughs> Because we doctors work every day, you know, but I got today off and I feel good about it. So yeah, here we are. <laughs> right. So yeah, we are grateful for today and it is also a day that I would like to use to express my heartfelt desire. It's because of this heartfelt desire that I do the videos that I do. I take out time to do certain videos because it is very important to me and I think that if you know what it is it will also be very important to you what is this it is that I believe or I know it's not just a belief I know that our health begins from our mind so if all heard about cancer can and it's a disease that most people are aware of and uh, um mostly scared of yes um and um, but did you know that in most cases of cancer we do not know the cause we do not know what started it in a few cases you may find that the patients may have worked under certain conditions that expose the patient to certain um carcinogenic uh, materials or or toxins okay or that the patient was exposed to a certain form of radiation that caused the cells to change and start behaving abnormally stuff like that but those are very few cases very very few cases in most of these cases of cancer we do not know what caused it doctors don't know patients don't know <laughs> but a research was done, a side research was done that um, was supposed to bring the effect of the mind on the body to bear. Okay, and they asked um, a sample of cancer patients about how they dealt with life situations, you know, the disappointments, the frustrations and all that. And it was found that most of these patients where people who found it difficult to forgive they would hold heads within they wouldn't let go they would just hold these um dark dark and heavy heavy thoughts inside them okay they they, they are just they just found it difficult to let things go and to free themselves and to just live and to tell themselves that oh i don't have to take this personally i don't have to you know take this seriously i should just let it go and live my life okay and and this is this is the mind at work here it is what you are feeding the mind with so the mind is going to produce out of that if you are feeding the mind with sorrow with pain with hurt with hate okay the mind will produce chemicals that will depress the body and put the body in the state we know as a disease state okay. that is what was found and this is what i i want us all to bring our attention and focus to it. cancer is one of the extreme disease conditions that we have in the world and if it is caused okay by the way people but by the way people decide to deal with life situations and then what can we say about all of these other diseases that we find all right. those diseases wouldn't show up in the patient's body it wouldn't show up in the patient's body this is all about creating a safe mental place a peaceful a joyful a happy mental space or atmosphere that will cause the body to produce um, or to, to cause the mind to produce the right happy hormones that the body needs to flourish and grow and mature and stay strong, healthy, and then carry you through the days 
throughout the days of your life as it is supposed to. Okay, that is the purpose of the body. Okay, I know that a happy mind will produce a healthy body. Okay, there would be no place for disease in the body. If you are happy, if you if your mind progresses and is allowed to grow in an in in a mental atmosphere of peace, of joy, of positivity, okay, it is gonna produce the best chemical responses that the body needs in order to flourish. All right, so for me as a doctor, I I love my job, like I said, but. I really <laughs> like to see patients, less patients in the hospital because I don't like to see people suffering. I don't like to see people in pain. Okay, so for me, I would like people to know how to keep health, their health, how to keep their bodies growing stronger and stronger by the day. And the key is to put your mental health first. Our mental health as saying, getting your mind to function at its best or you know preparing your mind or working on your mind to function the way it is supposed to function i actually don't remember the last time i laid in bed sick to be honest it's, i do not remember okay so it means that this truth that I found for myself actually works, okay, it is proof that the mind is what takes care of the body. When you take care of your mind, the body will be taken care of, okay, because um, our motivation to do anything for ourselves begins with the mind, um, our, our, our desire to, to even to work out, it begins with the mind. The desire to eat the appropriate foods begins with the mind. The desire to stay hydrated begins with the mind. It begins with thinking about, it begins with deciding, and it all begins with the mind. The mind is the center of health. It is the seat of health. Okay, so when I make videos that are supposed to get to your mind, that are supposed to get you thinking, it is not because I don't want to talk more about medical conditions and and how you can <laughs> take more medicine or how you can you should come to the hospital for frequent checkups and all that i want perfect health for everybody for myself and for everyone i come across or anybody within my sphere of contact when you are healthy you spend less money i believe in prevention and for me the key to prevention is to work on the mind. So for this reason, I have decided to reorganize the way I deliver this heartfelt desire to you daily. I'm going to try to do it daily, make time for short videos that would, you know, um, inspire certain thoughtfulness within you. I'll leave it in the caption because um, I'm no longer a fan of very long videos. So it's going to go like maybe Monday will be for this, Tuesday will be for that. Okay, and I'm going to try to make, it that, to make it as fun as possible. Okay, so that we can all enjoy this ride together. Okay, so have a wonderful Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your day and whatever you are going to do today. I wish you the very best.